All right, this is uh, Windows 11 on the Chromebook two years later. Uh, still running pretty good. No problems or anything. Uh, yeah, I kind of redid some backgrounds and stuff, but nothing too crazy. So everything's still running good. Chrome's working well. Loads decently quickly. Uh, Edge is working. Pull it up. All right, and then also um, Task Manager. I was gonna show you guys that, what this is running on. I mean, you have to consider Windows 11 is a fairly like um, heavy operating system and it doesn't take much to run it if it's properly optimized by using like the right drivers, um, what you need for it and stuff. So this is running on a two core Celeron and it's doing pretty well. Sometimes they can run it like 100%, but it doesn't slow it down, which is a good thing. Uh, memory on here, it's only 4 gigabytes, and it still runs pretty well. Um, it's running on EMMC memory right now, and it's running pretty good for the most part. Uh, this is what you want from something like this, is for it to run well, which is what it does. Uh, it's pretty good here. As you can see, uh, Chrome is mostly taking up the majority of it. As we know, Chrome uses like a lot of RAM. Um, that's okay. It can handle it. It definitely does eat up some, but it'll get used to it. Uh, mine, never seen any problems with that, luckily. Uh, you may, it's hard to say, but I have not yet. Um, under Device Manager, you're going to find a few problems here. The only thing that's going to pop up is there's no drivers for these devices. I'm not entirely sure what in the world these are. Um, this goes to something, but it just doesn't work right. Um, everything else on here, I was able to find drivers over time um, using the website for uh, creating this OS. You guys can usually find the majority of the drivers you'll need. Um, especially over time, um, sometimes stuff updates on here and better drivers will come out to replace the old ones. You can update your drivers using the same website, the uh, Coolstar thing, I think, and you can probably fix all your drivers with that. Um, this audio driver is pretty easy to get. It's like 15 bucks, but then you can get your speakers back again. Supposedly without it, they don't even work at all, and it's the only way to get it to work. So it is like 15 bucks for that, not too bad. It's definitely worth it, but uh, I was going to try and make my own driver at one point, but it's not so easy to do as these speakers will just pop. They uh, do not run good unless it's like the proper driver for it, and it's very specific for that. Um, everything else, yeah, running pretty good on here. Um, it's been a pretty good experience over the last two years, especially for like school use. Um, college use, anything you could use it for. It's not the best for gaming though. I've tried running Steam on here and the only problem is it has a lot of trouble booting games and sometimes won't really boot at all. These machines are really not meant to push gaming at all. Uh, they're just not built that way. But good luck with your builds. Thank you for watching.